My name is Silas Height. I'm a professional composer and illustrator. I work out of the studio I built here in Los Angeles, and I've been doing this for over 10 years now. Before I finished college, I came out to Los Angeles, and my Uncle Mark owns a studio, and they score films, television shows, commercials, video games, that kind of stuff, and I was like, just give me a shot. Just give me a chance to prove myself. He's like, okay, and so he did, and um, I'm very indebted. So I got my foot in the door at his studio, Mutato Musica. Little by little, they would give me the opportunity to write music for different smaller projects. And then after a while, I started doing really well. When I decided it was time to go out on my own, I think I was feeling like I was just doing the same projects over and over again. And so I would drive 45 minutes back and forth, and I had a studio at work, and then an identical studio at home, and I would come home and start working on music. And at some point I realized I just needed to cut out the drive and be done with it. And so I went freelance, built a studio at home. Part of the reason I became a freelance composer is so I could spend more time doing songwriting. And I often write songs with bands that I'm in and with other people. And you know, we release records and play shows. And that's a, a huge part of being a musician that I think I was missing out on before when I was strictly doing um, just composing for clients. And so I've been able to incorporate that into my life and my work. And, it's, it's great. I think uh, my work on commercials and scores has definitely influenced my songwriting in that um, it's really driven home the point of being clear with your musical message. And I think it made me think about the economy of any sort of creation, that all the parts are there for a reason. And, you know, I've sort of expanded that thought to, you know, to songwriting and to art and things like that. I think the similarities between creating art and music lie within creating a complete composition. Mixing a song is a lot like making a painting, where with a painting you're painting and then maybe you paint over it and you're, you're constantly refining, refining until you've got it there, everything's in the right place and in the right shape. And I think it's the same thing with a song, I'll record a, an idea apart and then you know, maybe I'll re-record it, maybe I'll mix it differently, but it's the same, same process of smoothing it out, making sure all, everything is there for a reason, all the parts work together in harmony to, to create a cohesive whole. 